months after LFO cheerleader Lauren Suddeth recorded those words, her cheerleading squad is in the middle of a separation of church and state controversy. Last week, the school system banned the cheerleaders' inspirational Bible verse banners after a call was placed to the superintendent. I know that people have different beliefs, but we're, we're kids, and I don't understand how someone did that. And I just think that the song will uplift people's spirits and help them know that there's still hope in this country. Lauren says the song is about faith and love of country. Gregory Hathaway wrote the song. He says he couldn't help but think of it when he heard about the controversy over the cheerleader signs. I think the same people that are criticizing it are the same people that have to place their hand on the Bible if they have to testify in court. But the woman at the center of the debate says there was no criticism. In a statement released by WAAK Radio, Donna Jackson says, quote, I called the superintendent with the hope of heading off the type of community division that hasty actions have now caused. Jackson says her children attended Lakeview Fort Oglethorpe and she doesn't have a problem with Bible verses displayed in public. If she thought that the signs weren't, weren't a problem, I don't understand why she pursued the fact. I don't understand. In the statement, Jackson says she never complained and only raised concerns after a law class taken at Liberty University. In the meantime, the community is rallying around the cheerleaders. Lauren says she hopes the song will inspire more to support the Bible verse banner tradition. More than anything else, I want to thank you.